What's up? I just got to the boat ramp and I'm waiting for my buddy Garrett. We're about to go bass fishing. Don't necessarily know what to expect today. I've actually only fished this spot once before. Got the entire boat ramp to myself. Um, I don't know where Garrett is. He was supposed to be here right now and the boy's late, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. I guess I can walk out on this dock and make a few casts because I might as well make the most of my time. Man, I'm excited to get out in the boat. I haven't been out in a boat all year. I've only been in kayaks, which is great, but you know, I like to fish in boats from time to time. Also, you already know all I brought is a fanny pack full of gear. This place has a lot of duckweed up in the shallows. I'm just gonna toss this drop shot around and see what happens. This right here requires serious hip strength. What up? Okay, we're on the water and uh, we are about ready to start flipping some shallow water. We're kind of probably going to do a little bit of everything today, a little bit of diversity as far as fishing styles go. I did bring one ultralight just in case, but other than that, it's just a bunch of bass gear and you know we're just after them big old green largies. Anyways, you guys have seen me fish with Garrett in the past if you've been following my channel for a while. He's a good dude. Enough yipping and yapping, let's start casting blasts and let's go. I like really want to catch a fish on this thing. It's the giant TRD. This is a massive Ned rig essentially. I intend to catch a fish on this thing today, but I have no idea if I actually will. I'll try it for a little while. I'm gonna go to my good old jig, man. Okay, so we left the last spot, and now as you can see, we're in the ocean, or well, Lake Michigan. I've actually never been on Lake Michigan, like at all. I've been to beaches, I've stepped foot in the water, but I've never been in a boat in Lake Michigan. So this is a first for me. Apparently Garrett's telling me that the, the fishing is just not necessarily setting up the way we were hoping. That being said, I'm gonna remain optimistic here and we're gonna try. We're gonna try this little area right here. Essentially, there's a hot water discharge over there and this is called like a bubbler and it basically is just some warmer water pulling through these little bubbles underneath the lake. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't necessarily know how to explain it, but I know I'm gonna throw a drop shot on it and try to catch a fish. You can see the disturbance in the water right here. This is where the bubbles are coming up and this is like a really, really big structure. There's gotta be a random small jaw down there. Come on, how about a rock bass? I wonder what the biggest rock bass that lives in Lake Michigan is. I bet there's an 18 inch rock bass out there. Imagine an 18 inch rock bass. <laughs> Well, it was fun while it lasted. We're headed further back in the river, folks. This looks like Frog City. Okay, so we made our way back to the river and Garrett is lending me one of his rod and reels that has braid on it and we're gonna throw some frogs and see what happens. Something hit it? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm definitely making it. <laughs> oh, I took your spot so big time. Oh, I know, and I'm gonna feel bad if I do. Oh. No! Your turn. <laughs> I guarantee it's a little bike, bro. <laughs> he goes after it twice, and then we don't ever get him again. it! that's hilarious though. We both got a bite from him. Okay, so there are fish that are willing to hit a frog. The question is, one, was it a pike or was it a bass? Two, is that gonna be an outlier or is this gonna be an ongoing pattern? I guess we'll find out. There sure is a lot of places to throw a frog right here. G got himself a pike. Okay, well, at least we're on the board. Right. <laughs> I'm tying on a spinnerbait and I'm just embracing them slimy critters, man. I just want to catch fish. The massive Ned Rig is going to have to wait till another day because I'm not feeling it. Okay, so now we've got the spinnerbait. Let's see if we can catch a little uh, pickle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's got to be a bass. Yeah, it is. Yeah. How big? Not bad. He is fatter than all get out, brother. Oh my lord. Nice hook set, buddy. Back to Mr. Garrett's frog. You know, Garrett's caught a pike and a bass, and I've caught Jack Diddley. I'm due. I am due. You can't tell me there's just one bass back here. I'm just surprised we haven't got just a little bit more action back here. Not my best day on the water this year, that's for sure. This water looks so good, and yet it's so bad. I'm just waiting, like how come I've gotten zero bites today? That's my question. Is it sprinkling? It's definitely sprinkling. Today's trip is going like poop right now. 
And now it's starting to sprinkle and it would just be hilarious if we got caught in like a massive rainstorm. The worst fishing trip of my summer and Garrett Gordon brought me here. I'm not catching anything. Oh my gosh, it's a pike fish. <laughs> oh my, oh, I got him. <laughs> Hope you don't care about this frog, buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love these fish, man. I freaking love these hammer handles, as people call them. Oh, thanks, Adam. My friend uh, on IG told me, grab them right behind the head, these little hammer handles, and they usually stop thrashing so much. So I appreciate the feedback. Ah, there we go. Little hammer handle, as people call them. It's starting to rain a little harder. Excellent. See you, buddy. That was a fun little bite. I'm glad I finally, I was just talking about how I hadn't got a single freaking bite. I love pike, dude. It appears that we're going to get completely pulverized by this rain. You guys did not get to see that bite. Essentially, this pike shoots out of the water. He does like a front flip. And then I start working my frog back a little bit more. Boom, smashes it. And like, that is why pike bites just bring out my pure insane, like insanity. Oh my, oh no, 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 no. Such a stupid hook set. It just got pulled under. I didn't even notice the bite. Dadgum it, right off that pad. Anyways, pike are crazy, man. They bring out the, the crazy side of me. Oh my God, something twerked it. That had to have been a pike. He about took the rod out of my hands. It's so annoying. Why did he destroy it and then go away? I tell you what, Garrett, I appreciate you loaning me this rod. If I wouldn't have had it with me, um, I wouldn't have caught a fish today. Okay, as you can see, the fishing trip is over. Obviously not a great fishing trip by any means, and we actually got caught in the rain. You just couldn't make this stuff up. Overall, I still had fun today. I mean, I did catch a fish, so I didn't get skunked. Garrett caught a couple fish, so he didn't get skunked. So, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. My favorite part, to be honest, was just getting out on Lake Michigan. It's super pretty out there, and I would like to get back and catch some fish on Lake Michigan. Today, I guess the conditions just weren't really right. I can't say I have any experience with that style of fishing. That is a massive body of water. I guess the learning from today is that even though something looks really fishy doesn't always mean it's going to be really fishy and you just simply can't control it you know you still got to fish it you still got to try it you still got to give it your all and it's just not always going to go the way you want it to i always have some wisdom to share whenever i have a bad day of fishing i, I don't know it is what it is also this is dinner tonight because i go to bed super early and i'm really hungry so this is dinner <laughs>